hello everyone today i'll be making a new video and this video is focused on nssb and this video is whole computer application and knowledge so this will be a series video which where i'll be covering important question on computers so this is an mcq format and which will be very beneficial for your exam <clears throat> the computer exam for nssp consists of 100 and 100 marks and it is very important and scoring subject so let's get the video started i'll be solving this computer questions first the word computer has been derived from so it has been derived from the word latin next question number two the input output and processing devices grouped together represent computer system so computer the input input the case of the keyboard mouse etc output the case of the monitor printer and processing devices like cpu etc make up the computer next which of the following is the correct order of the four major com functions of a computer that is input that is mon data input corolla process output and storage so suppose input we're inputting the data call one plus one and it will process the computer by answer to two decal are the two though output the decal that is in computer screen are the memory the store gonna go so this is the complete cycle of a com uh, computer next the collect collecting the data and converting it into the information is called processing so processing the case of the collecting the data data means key one plus one this is a data one is a data and one is also a data and if you add it you will get it one plus one is equal to two so the computer is processing this two so it will be processing next computer cannot perform thinking so no computer is intelligent enough to compute thinking the computer cannot perform which of the following functions so, so it will be packing a cake computer cannot pack a cake next question number seven the part number of a description and number of parts ordered are example of processing so as i've already told you processing means data get process corolla next benefit of a computer is is very fast and can store huge amount of data next the collection of unprocessed item is called data my already quasi key one is a data and one is also a data it does not make any sense one and one but if we add plus and it it comes to under two so it is pro it is an information to the information as well so However, one one the case of data it is a data and one is also a data means unprocessed items so it will be data and it was also in SPIPO 2015. Next, which among the following cycle consists of input, output, processing, and storage as is constituent? So it will be data. So data the input correlate one process plus one deletion process corona two. So it will output to computer screen the decode and it is stored in the memory. So the answer is five. Next, touch is data that has been organized and presented in a meaningful fashion. So I've already told you one plus one to data, but one plus one to k is a two. So two is an information. So it will be information. Next, data information are used to run the computer. It is none of this. So this are not uh, data information are used to run the that are used to run the computer are called instructions so it is none of this next the steps and tasks needed to process data as responses to question or clicking an, I an icon are called instructions so i've already told you instruction as a we are giving the computer instruction to add one plus one is equal to two so computer can instruct cross it to take a add cruelly so the answer will be 2. Next, the earliest calculating machine is Abascus. 
ए बेस्कस की है जुगले तो एक ता मिशन देखो और इधे लाइन लाइन देखो और उधर दे गुदी गुदी देखो सो गुदी गुदी देखो सो इन ऑर्डर टू ऐड विल ऐड दिस नंबर हाउ मच द गुड आइटम्स आर देर लाइक दिस सो इन ए वे इट एक्स एस ए कैलकुलेटर सो ए बेस्कस एंड इट वाज फर्स्ट दिस इट वाज फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस इन चाइन Next, Napier's technology is used for calculation. Uh, used for calculation is called Rhabdologia. Next, Pascaline is also known as adding machine. Punched card are was first introduced by Jacquard. So, punch card was first introduced by Jacquard. Next, punch card are also called so punch card to Kezugli. It is an important component of a computer. And it is called Holorith card. Which of the following is also known as the father of computer? So, father of computer, Charles Babbage is a holy way. Father of modern computer, it will be Alan Turing. Analytical engine was first developed. So, analytical engine, though, first computer was first developed by Charles Babbage. Next, the analytical engine developed during first generation of computer used counter vessels as a memory unit. Before mount pen drive hard disk can no longer be the first memory was counter wheel. Tabulating machine was first was the first electro mechanical device developed by Herman Hollerith. Next, which of the following created the electronic discrete variable autom automatic computer with a memory to hold both a stored data and Sport program and data. So, the first electronic discrete variable automatic computer. So, when the first discovery was made, it was John von Neumann. The first computer that provided the storage is called the EdSec. That is electronic discrete and uh, automatic computer. Next. The first general purpose electronic computer was UniVec. Next, computer's size is very large in first generation. So before uh, the laptop and personal computer was invented, computer was uh, computer were big in size, longer longer size teacher. So this is the first generation computer. The first generation computer were based on vacuum tubes. So, first generation. There are many generations of computer. First generation, the vacuum tube was there. Second generation, the transistors over. And third generation is integrated circuit IC chips. That is made up of silicon. So, the first generation computer is vacuum tubes. Now question number thirty. El uh, computers built before the first generation was electromechanical. There is uses of electrical as well as mechanical uh, system called electromechanical system. Next, the first generation computer used mostly machine language. So machine language is the case of machine language is that language that consists of only zero and one. Computer vocally zero or one to identify group. We they cannot identify speech. So this is the machine language. Next, the second generation computer was witnessed in the years from nineteen fifty seven to nineteen sixty two. The second generation made up of transistors. I've already told you, the second generation computer can be characterized by the use of transistors. The the speed of the first generation computer was milli second. Now next. The time sharing com the time sharing became possible in the so it uh, the time sharing was in the second generation of computer the third generation of computer for so first uh, second generation of computer to nineteen fifty seven to nineteen sixty two so it will be obviously from nineteen sixty two to nineteen seventy two next indicator circuit was were first used from which generation of computer so it will be third generation of computer so the integrated question number 37 is 
the integrated chips were started to be used from the third generation computer so i'll i'll be showing you some of the examples of the computer which i've already told you so the first generation computer is like this it was big and bulky after this in the second generation it become smaller the third generation became compact and the fourth generation was was somewhat like the modern computer and the, we are now living in the fifth generation that is the personal computer so we have come a long way and this is sir charles babbage who is also known as the father of the computer however sir alan turing is also called the father of modern computer and this is an integrated circuit which uh, is a which is a third gen uh, which is a fourth generation computer and these are vacuum tubes vacuum tubes which was the uh, first generation computer so before computer as we now see it was like this and now the latest computer is the super computer which is much faster than our normal computer so coming back to the mcq so i've already showed you the integrated circuit that is the integrated circuit uh, the chip is a common name for integrated circuit and it is the third generation computer next the ic chips or chips used in computers are made up of silicon so silicon is the answer next who developed integrated chips this it was developed by js kilby the complete electronic circuit with transistors and other electronic components is called an indicated circuit and it is a third generation computer next the personal computer are considered as fourth generation and content microprocessor so now our computer contains microprocessor the fifth generation do not have vacuum tubes because vacuum tube was the first generation computer first generation computer is vacuum tube it was followed by integrated integrated circuit and uh, now after this the it was followed by the vacuum tubes the in um, transistors the integrated circuit and now processors next so match the following first generation is vacuum tubes second generation is transistors fourth generation with integrated circuit and uh, third generation is integrated circuit and fourth generation will be vlsi transistor uh, microprocessor so this is the answer next a small and cheap computer was built into several home appliances of which type so it will be micro computers desktop and personal computers are also known as micro computers so now we see the laptop and various other things so it will be the microprocessor now next the computers which are portable and convenient to use for users to travel are known as so it will be laptops so now we use laptop which is a very uh, easy which is a very convenient type of computers which can be carried around next which of the following is uses a handheld operating system so it is a pda next palm up computers are also known as held hand computer they are like mobile phones but with like a computer they are they, uh, they are used for doing many functions next which of the following is a small microprocessor based computer designed to be used one person at a time so the modern pc we call it 
personal computer is the uh, small microprocessor computer used by one person next which of the following options correctly expresses the meaning pc so personal computer they are widely available to individual workers with which they can access information from outer layer and increase their personal productivity next desktop computer laptops computers etc are different types of micro computers so why micro computers because they use microprocessors next in the context of digital computer which of the following pairs of are referred as binary code so 0 and 1 are called binary code i have already told you that machine can only recognize two language that is 0 and 1 0 means of r1 do on <coughs> next the central computer that holds collection of data and programs of many computers is also known as server. So, it is a server. And internet is also a server because it connects many computers and mobiles at the same time. The first mini computer was called PD0, uh, P PDB8, which is generally costlier. So, the mainframe computer is bulky and it is more costlier. Next, the user generally apply touch to access the main for mainframe or supercomputer so it is the node so i have already mentioned the supercomputer i have already shown you how a supercomputer looks in the uh, picture below the first computer in india was siddhartha and the first computer in india was installed in the indian statistical institute at kolkata the first supercomputer developed in india was param and now the and the fastest computer in the world is developed by HP and the second is called Fukaku Fukaku of Japan Pratyush is the fourth fastest supercomputer in the world now this has been changed the example of supercomputer is so all of these are bar the versions or the different names of supercomputer in different countries like gray 2 gray x mp28 are all supercomputers belonging to the united states tine hey belongs to china etc next which of the following is a supercomputer developed in india so it is param yuva 2 next in 1991 india's first indigenous supercomputer named touch was developed by vj Bhatkar. so it is param 8000 which among the following is called the father of supercomputer? So the answer is Seymour Gray. In India's fastest and first multi petaflops supercomputer called Pratyush was unveiled at the Indian Institute Indian Institute of Tropical Metrology at Pune. Choose the odd one. So there is no digital computer, microcomputer is there, like our laptop PC, mini computer, small, small computer, like uh, smaller than laptops, supercomputer that are so called as mainframe computer, and the un the old one is digital computer which does not exist. Next, the hybrid computer though, K as you it uses both analog and digital computer. Next, computer device that do not require any storage device is so it will be answer A that is analog computers. next the computer is the most common type uh, the touch computer is the most common type so it is called digital computer calculator which works on which type of computer so work, uh, calculator works on which type of computers work method see it will be digital computer so digital computer is also known as calculator small small calculator as a it will be digital computer okay. but it is not considered as a real computer next which of the following computer is mainly related to, to convert analog into digital form so it is hybrid computer which of the following is not an example of a special purpose computer so it is a word processor all this type are special purpose computer except for word processor which is an application software what type of computer is used for automatic land aircraft landing so it will be special purpose computer and the last question for today is which of the following is the smallest and the fastest computer imitating 
brain working so it will be the quantum computer so with this the video has come to an end i hope you all understood something i'll be continuing the computer class so feel free to ask question and thank you for watching and have a great time